Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And I am here today to share a look at and create with the new Die Hard Club from Stamps of Life. I hope you'll stick around, get a look at the goodies, and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on the subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Recently, I had Stamps of Life reach out and see if I would like to work with one of their club kits. So I went onto their site, checked out all four of their clubs, and decided to give the Die Hard Club a try. Now later on in the video, I'll tell you all about all four clubs, but the Die Hard Club is a monthly club where you get a stamp set with coordinating dies. This month's stamp set is called Posies to Stamp, and the coordinating dies come with dies for the flowers, the leaves, and some accents for the centers. When I was trying to think of what I might make, I decided to take inspiration from the sentiments. So not only do you get the florals and the leaves, but you get some great sentiments to go along with it. Where flowers bloom, there is hope, keep on growing, enjoy, you are a fabulous friend, with love and best wishes, and then the one that I'm going to use for today's inspiration, you are one of a kind. What I'm going to do is create kind of a plain or a black and white background with this flower here. And then with the more detailed flower, I'm going to stamp a single one of those. I'm going to jazz it up with some color, some leaves, some embellishments, and make it kind of like the sentiment says, one of a kind. Now as I get into the process, I'll tell you about other tools and products I bring in. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! I'm going to get started with the stamping and I'll be using the main flowers from the set as well as the sediment and later some leaves. I will be free range stamping so I got out my stamp block, memento ink, and a piece of white cardstock that is four and a quarter by five and a half. Now here is an item they sent me, the Stamper Secret Weapon, and you know that if you've watched me before I do have a larger pad but I just thought this little cute one was so fun and it perfectly fits the A2 card. Now one thing I do want to point out and I'll talk about later is this has one price but if you become a club member you get 15% off all items on their website. I'm going to get started by stamping the more plain of the two large posies for the background. This one is basically just an outline, no decoration in the center. And to know where to put it, I'm going to go ahead and lay out the other more decorated posy and the sentiment on the card because later I am going to put the fancy one or the one of a kind over one I've already stamped. So I kind of get an idea of where that will go. And then once I've figured it out, I am going to remove the oils from the stamp before I ink it up because there are some manufacturing oils on there and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp it right onto that cardstock again about where I had figured out earlier. Now because there is no cushioning on the clear stamp but it has that foam pad underneath it I do get a nice crisp impression right away. I'm just going to continue using this same stamp and I just kind of rotate it and move it so I fill the entire piece of white cardstock. While I work on stamping that background, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the four monthly clubs. They have the Stamp Club, which is the stamp set, and this month it is the one you see here. Or they have the Die Hard Club, which you get the stamp set with those coordinating dies. Now the next one is a pretty fun one. If you love shaped cards, it is the Fold It Club, and you get a shaped card die and two coordinating stencils. 
And finally, you have the Card Kit Club, which is a box full of goodies to create at least 12 cards. And if they include the stamps and dies, it is different from the monthly Die Hard Club. So you're going to be getting lots of exclusive products. I do have a link in the description box below for you to check the clubs out. And here, when I start to color, I'll tell you about some bonuses you'll get. Once I had the background done, I brought in another piece of white cardstock and using the more fancy flower, I got that stamped on there, making sure that I allowed room for a die to be placed later. And I also stamped the sentiment on there and I moved it just so there was some extra space on the right because I knew that I would want a little kind of banner or a little flag that would go under the flower and the sentiment would stick out. Next, I chose a Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Marker in one of my favorite colors, and I will list the name in the description box below. And I'm just going to do some basic coloring on this flower. I'm going to go in each area and color it all in completely with the light end, put in the shadows with the dark end, then I blend it out just a little bit with the medium and go over everything again with the light. Again, I just do some clean and simple coloring. Now, while you watch me do some of that, I wanted to tell you about the bonuses that I spoke about earlier. When you join the clubs, not only do you get the awesome product that comes monthly, but you get free limited edition gifts two to three times a year and 15% off all Stamps of Life website orders. Now, if you use my links, which are down in the description box below, or my promo code, which is up on screen now, you're going to get a bonus of 500 club points, and with your first shipment, you'll get a free stamp and free die set. I hope you'll check it out. I finished coloring the flower off screen, and then I decided that to make this flower more one of a kind, I would add some leaves. So I stamped a couple of those and colored them in with a green marker. And now I'm just gonna take these off screen with their coordinating dies and die cut those. While I was off camera doing the die cutting, I did die cut the front panel down with a stitched rectangle. I cut the sentiment out and got it matted on a piece of blue cardstock. I made a card base in that same color and I stamped the piece for the inside that has that same flower in the lower right hand corner just for a little added decoration. And now all of the pieces are done so I can get the card put together. The inside piece went flat down centered as well as the front stamped piece. And then so I know kind of where I want my sentiment banner to go, I'm going to go ahead and place the flower in place. And then when I think I have a nice placement, I added adhesive to the back of the sentiment and got that added down. Since the card was pretty flat so far, I wanted to give some dimension by adding the flowers and the leaves with foam tape. But before I could add the foam tape to the back, I wanted to make sure I knew exactly where the leaves go and that they wouldn't fall off the card. So I got the placement for that, and then I attempted to add glue to the front of the leaves to add to the back of the flower, but you'll see I did have a, a couple troubles with that. Eventually though, I got those in place and I let them dry for about five minutes before moving on. And and I off camera added that foam tape to the back and then I got that placed right over the flower on the background. Now I could have left it like this, but Stamps of Life did send me some fun pearl clusters. So I chose one that kind of matched that blue and I added it to the center. It is just so pretty. And here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I use the brand new Stamps of Life Die Hard Club goodies to create this card today. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.